Actually, I was gonna I was gonna ask you two questions if you didn't mind, just a little bit more of your time. Sure. Do you know whether you're gonna go to heaven when you die? I'm sorry. Do you know whether you're gonna go to heaven when you die? <laughs> I'm not sure. You're not sure. I have no idea about that. So why why should God let I you into heaven? Not sure. I would like to go to heaven. <laughs> okay. I would really, really like to go to heaven. And I believe that the things that I do, like it will make me, you know, reach heaven, but I'm not sure about it. <laughs> well, can, may I share with you why I know that I'm going to heaven? Yeah, sure. I believe that Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. I believe that he came into the Jews and they denied him. They crucified him, hung him on a cross. He was buried in the sepulcher three days, three nights, and he rose again. God rose Jesus from Jesus Christ from the dead, and he was seen by above 500 witnesses. And that's why I rejoice evermore. It's not because I have repented of my sin to be saved. It's not that I trusted in uh, Jesus to, to be saved. I'm, I, I have faith in Jesus. I'm following Jesus. It's none of that. It's only believe. It okay. says in John, it says in John 3, 16, whosoever shall believeth on him, his only begotten son, shall be saved and not and not perish and have everlasting life. So if you believe on that, then you'll have eternal salvation and you'll be redeemed on the day of the Lord. Do you believe that? I wouldn't be able to say that over the phone right now because um, this is, I don't believe that this is a platform where we should share. Well, this is, I mean, this is, this is real life. This is real life. It's every day for me. This, the, the little bill that you called me about is not as important as your soul or my soul. So th this life is only a moment and it has nothing to do with you. It's all about believing on Jesus because he is the only way to heaven. So I appreciate you allowing me to share that with you, but I would just encourage you to, to no believe on Jesus. I do believe in Jesus. Oh, you believe, you believe in Jesus? But, yeah, I just said, I'm um, sorry, at this point we are not allowed to, like we should not share any of this information while we are working. Okay. So just because of that. And, you know, like, I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, don't, don't, no, no, you're not, you could never offend me. You could never offend me. And I just would encourage you to believe on Jesus Christ. Remember that there is no name under heaven by which we shall be saved, but Jesus. That name was given from heaven, from above. So it's not it's not Jehovah, it's not Elohim, it's not uh, any of that. It's only Jesus. It's not. It's take it off of yourself and you being a good person. And all Jesus said, "There is none that are good but God." We're gonna sin until the day Jesus comes back and gets us. So take it off of yourself. You you being you stopping sinning, which is impossible, is not gonna save you. Only believing on Jesus and believing on that full gospel because Paul said we're gonna be judged by his gospel, and that's the gospel that he de he declared. The will of God is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of salvation, the gospel of peace. So I, I just encourage you to believe on the Son of God. And the name, the name is important. I'm just gonna leave you with this. Jesus came in his father's name. They baptized uh, Peter and John, they baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus is God. If you don't believe that, that's that's the mystery of the gospel. It's, he's just not the son of God. Jesus is God. The Jesus Christ, the man died on the cross, his flesh died. But God cannot die. God dwelt in him. The full bodily Godhead dwelt in Jesus. But Jesus is the only begotten. He was the only begotten of the Father. So he is God. He's the Son of God. And he's the Holy Ghost. That's the mystery of the gospel. I just encourage you to believe that. And I appreciate you for allowing me to share that. Take it off of yourself. I spent ton, plenty of years relying on the things that I do. You could never put God in debt. 
Don't put yourself back in bondage. Don't put yourself back under the law. Because if, if we offend the law in one thing, we, we're guilty in it all. So you're not going to be able to, only, only Jesus lived a sinless life. So believe on him. And I want to see you in heaven. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you believe that with all your heart. And you're just not saying that, but that you believe that. Thank you. Thank you for your prayer. All right. Thank you so much. You have a great day. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. They're going to get Jesus. They're going to get Jesus.